Hey, what up, guys? Welcome to the Double Chin Show. We have our guests here again with us. They never left. They're becoming, they're becoming like furniture to us now. Here to stay. And uh, we have Grace, we have Christine, and we have E to talk about a topic we needed them for because yeah. we want to know. We want to know, and I'm sure you'll want to know. What do Asian girls like more and dislike and about more. Asian guys? Yeah. We want to know that <laughs> because we hear some things. We're like, a lot of, there's a lot of stereotypes out there that like Asian girls are one of the white guys. So we want to hear about what you like about us Asian guys or don't like about us. So we can we can improve. We can take some feedback. We can, we can get better. We can be more deserving of you. Take some notes, you guys. So yeah, man. let us have it. I feel like Asian guys are a lot more respectful than any other race, and I feel like like they're not the type to just you know say smack your butt in the middle of the street or we would like, never do know, that. They just, yeah, they wouldn't do that. They're very respectful. Yeah, they wouldn't just like you know just holler at you in the street or just like say something to you while you're walking down the street. Never seen Asian guy yeah, do that. Before. Never. No. I never seen never. Asian guy go, hey, hey, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Wait, mama. <laughs> Wait. Or the whistling, mama. mama. <laughs> that just but does not happen. With holler or like approach somebody in the like street. Like even a, both, both actually. Because you because we walked both. up to people on the street. Yeah, yeah. Well, but not holler. Not holler. Not holler. Yeah. To, to like, respectfully. Right. Not introduce call. ourselves. We never catch. Yeah. Asian guys don't right. yeah. Respectfully. We never. Respectfully. We never yeah. do it. Disrespect. Right. Asian guys don't really approach girls. They're very um like more standoffish. They're shy. So if they like a girl like. They're at the club, right? They like a girl. They wouldn't really want to just like approach them. They'll just like kind of just lay back and just so wait. Do you like that or dislike that about Asian uh, guys? I think that's like both. I like wait, both. Oh, no, you gotta pick one. If, you, you like that? No, I, that? I, no, no, I agree with them. I think okay. I both like and dislike that. How? I, I think okay. that the fact that they're not willing to approach a girl has something to do with pride, also. Yeah, I think that Because I think that, okay, if you get hollowed, it's annoying when you get hollowed in the, on the streets, which happens to me too, but it's kind of like, at least they have the audacity to put themselves out there, but it's like Asian guys don't put themselves out there. And, yeah, and that's the thing. I find the silent and strong kind of personality pretty attractive, but I also feel like, hey, it's America, you know? I expect sometimes you to make a move from well, what, what do they expect? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, annoying. Girls so to do like something, you yeah. can't expect that. Right, I mean, like, I would, I'd make a move if I like a guy, but I also like it when he show, obviously shows yeah. interest in me, yeah. you know? So, so you guys are looking for, uh, for Asian guys to be kind of in the middle. Like, yeah. don't go to the extreme of yeah. cat calling, yeah, yeah. Yeah. but at least take but, your courage up a notch. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Like, like, right. Make a move if like, you're interested, then go for it. Yeah, exactly. But I feel like Asian girl. guys are very afraid to get rejected. Yes. And yep. the pride. Yeah. They have so much pride. The pride is... Pride what? Yeah. I mean, okay. well, like, it's true, it's true though. They're I level 99, like, you know, sorcerer. Yeah. You know what yeah. Asian guys do? They'll wait till the day before you graduate, <laughs> right? Then they'll come to you with a letter and some grand proposal and be like, I loved you for years. And then they're like, if you say no, ah, we're graduating. <laughs> I've never seen you again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, literally, like, we're what get, if like, I also liked you? Now we don't have a chance to be together. Yeah. There's more romantic side. I will be over the ocean. We can write. <laughs> I will send you chocolate via 1-800 flowers. And just saying that, I feel like they would have to think about it for like minimum of one year. Basically, like you're, you guys get annoyed you don't like it when they're so timid that they don't approach you, but you like the fact that Asian guys are more reserved. Is that yeah, what I mean? Yep, like, yep. they're not yeah. like arrogant, they're not show off, they're not like, yo, 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 drawing attention they're to themselves. They're more mysterious. Because, yeah, because, yeah. Like, because they're not, they don't put yourself out there. Like, you don't really, um, like, they want to be like, like yelling. Because some girls yelling. like that. Some girls no, like that. I feel like what girls, no, 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 no. Like when, I, when I was growing up, girls, I, my thinking was, Girls liked guys that were like, could, like when they did something, when they showed off an ability, like the captain of the football team or whatever, a guy plays guitar, singing out loud. Well, here's the thing, right? I think that th that's also attractive in the beginning, but I think the reserve quality is attractive because usually when a guy is reserved, it also means that he's kind of like more loyal and yeah, he's very definitely. like, he, he's not like a playboy. You know, if he's like playing guitar for you, he's playing guitar for somebody else too. That's, is that's he, really is true. He, if he's hollering yeah. at you, that's like in the open, yeah, yeah, he's hollering at some other girl. Too. So I'm like, why don't I? I want my guy to just like me. Like, and yeah. he's this reserved guy, but he only shows attention to me. I like that, you know. Like, it seems like kind of like, well, I only want, like, I want all his attention. But if that's attractive, you okay. Know? okay, all right. Mm -hmm. I feel like in the long term, it's a good thing that's a reserve. 
because they want to go up to any other girl. Exactly. They would yeah. just stick with you. So like you're yeah. special. Yeah. I waited exactly. four years just to talk to you. Exactly. Yeah, I, I can't have courage to talk to anyone else. I used to all up on you. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Man. Like that the guy, one shot guy. of my whole life. So you said loyalty. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you like that you see in Asian guys? You, you feel they're more loyal. They're less the biggest cheat on you. I would say the one thing I do 100% think is true is that I feel like Asian guys are more responsible. Like, and, and as a whole, like, and, and by that I just mean all Asian guys. Like, every single Asian guy, not just East Asian guys that I've met, they've been more family oriented and responsible. Like, my dad is super responsible. He's not the coolest guy sometimes. <laughs> he's kind of like a jerk sometimes. He could be because he's so, like, standoffish, but he's really responsible. And that's, I think that's a respectable quality. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's key to making a long term relationship work. And I see that quality in a lot of Asian guys. Asian guys? They're more romantic, even if they don't yeah, show it, are. but I feel like because of Korean drama, I feel like that has a big part to do with it, and like the expectation for Asian guys is, is so high because of Korean drama. I, I think so, because there was just a news story. <laughs> <laughs> my, but, my, 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 guys, read this so hard. Right now, yeah. <laughs> because you guys know me, I'm a, I'm a rom-com watching. Yo, you're oozes. I, I ooze cheat. I ooze cheat. You stick a knife at me and cheddar comes out. True, true guys. And like, guys. and like, there was this news piece, uh, we we're going to talk about Double Trend News, by the way, watch that, uh, <laughs> where this guy expressed his this is what we're talking about. This guy literally waited years and expressed his love via Rubik's Cubes. Oh, it took him like like months or something. And probably like he was in love with her for years before that. And he, he confessed his love and got shot down. And then what happened? That's it. Oh, <laughs> that's it. That's very romantic. That's very romantic, right? If a guy ever did that to me, then I'm putting a ring on it. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, I'm putting a ring on it. Oh, 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 oh. Be honest here. If someone did that to you, would you put a ring on it? Or would you I fire a restraining order? Yeah. No, no, I think that's horrible. That's so cute. That is, yeah, that's that's cute. Really, yeah. Romantic, really. It's like, if you're into them, it's oh, romantic. Yeah. Yes, yes. And if you're not into them, it's, it's creepy. It's really, exactly. I think so. If you guys were into the guy, you'd be like, whatever you do, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, it's so but cute. If not, you're like, if not, then I would yeah, use a it and get him a restraining order. Okay, anything else that you guys really like about Asian guys? Um, I like how there's like, you have to kind of like find out who they are. Like, they don't, oh. you have to discover them. Like, you know, like, the more you're with them, you could you, know, you see them and like take a mystery. So yeah, basically, we don't mystery. talk much. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Like, like <laughs> we don't say anything to you. We're on a date. You're like, hey, 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 Mike. So, so tell me about yourself. I'm just like, I'm, I'm a. I'm a guy and I like to eat, and that's it. That's all you know. Like and 20 years later, I'm like, I'm like, oh, by the way, I I, I like video games. Like, oh, that's like a new, new information in 20 years. I like that. Like, I guess they're like more mysterious, and like it keeps it interesting, so you can find out like how they are. You guys are great listeners, and they'll be really interested in you, um, and really interested in you to hear about what you want to think. And yes, I, I dated Westerners too, and they're like, and I've met good guys like that too. But I find that Asian guys like. They, they don't talk much about themselves, but they, they will. They, it's not like they're they don't talk, modest. but they're modest and they want to hear what you have to say first. I love how Asian guys are so into their food and their And their what? Their food. food, their food, like their foodies. Like I actually went on a date with a, an Asian guy, a Korean guy, mm -hmm. and both me and him are starving. Like I hear my stomach grumbling, but the food comes out and of course the first thing that we both do is take a picture. <laughs> and for the fact that like, that no, everybody around us is eating, and yeah. he didn't mind that we were taking like ten pictures, making sure it was in the right angle, it. and he gets, he gets it. it. And yeah. I was like, yeah. okay, like that's a plus, that's good, you know? Yeah, like and you go, you go out to eat with Mike, and you guys both, you know, food comes, cameras out, <laughs> yes. it's known, it's known oh, that yeah. it's camera time. Yeah. yeah, I have another thing I want to add about the good stuff for Asian guys, and I think we're having a lot of good stuff here, so yes. guys, be proud. Because they're like, about you know? to bash us. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that too. Just get ready for that. <laughs> Sugar coating everything. No, but like I think that okay, so I don't know if this is totally true, but all the Asian guys I've dated, they tend to be very accommodating towards the girl. They're very they kind of baby the girl. Like I feel like in Western culture people are independent and um, the guys will often expect the girls to be very independent and they will expect them to compromise a lot, which I think is completely great because I don't think we can go through a long-term relationship without compromise. What I found with Asian guys is like they will really be super tolerant to the girl. As in like, you know, the girl will sometimes be acting like a brat, but the guy, if he really loves her, will basically be like, it's okay, baby, you know, I'll, you know, I'll accommodate you. And I, this is, I've seen this across so many like Asian guys. 
like and this is not just Chinese guys by the way like you know and I think that's like I think that's a great quality because it shows that they can endure and they can they have the capacity and they like they they baby the girls a little bit which I think is adorable I feel like Asian guys do baby girls yeah and I think sometimes you want to get babied I mean it's cute so yeah. but you know the thing is that if they keep doing that the girl ends up taking advantage so I feel like it's okay up to a certain extent like if you if you're always telling the girl oh no it's okay it's okay like <gasps> I understand. Then obviously, eventually, the girl is gonna take advantage of the guy. I, I feel agree. Like the Asian guys in general. Develop some but bad that's habits. That's why you have to find a nice girl. Like I know a, a good girl will know her limits. You know. But you know, or just be a balance. If you, if you don't get tested, though, I feel like the girl can just you know take full advantage. Yeah, and then like, the girl might feel bored too. Like, why are you always letting me do whatever? Really? I feel like there yeah. should be a balance of like babying the girl and also be, letting her know if she's. Acting like, out, acting like yeah. a lot. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because a girl shouldn't always like act out and be like, oh, it's okay. Like, well, let me ask you guys: yeah. if we're gonna tell you, you're gonna lie, how, how are we doing that? Like, we can't be like, um, hey, Grace, get over here. Today you were at the restaurant. Like, there was one too many photos, nah, Grace. Well, well, one, <laughs> one, one. Nah, nah, nah. What do nah, I mean? Nah, they ain't nah, mad at us. Yeah. They don't like us. True story. True story. But, okay, so here's the thing: like, real life example. Like, Dan's really tolerant, and I am not always the nicest person. I mean gonna admit it but like I know my limits as in I know I don't when it comes to certain things I wouldn't push him do you know what I'm saying because I think that because the guy is giving you enough respect Mm -hmm. to to treat you this way you need to respect him back or else or else the relationship won't work because like everyone has a limit you can't expect someone to forever take your crap you know so well I also know a couple Mm -hmm. that uh, basically she she he, he gave her endless Room, right. rope, basically whatever, yeah. and she took full advantage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that, what you that guys makes her a bad person. Yeah. And treated exactly. him. Yeah, you need like a limit. Crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in that case, I don't think the girl is being a good person, and I don't think that relationship works. I agree. Works. I agree. Yeah, I, I agree. agree. That, like, there should always be a balance between always. how you treat them and like you know you could baby them to a certain extent, mm-hmm. but also you have to like let her know when she's wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. when she's gone. But you guys are okay if they let you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if I'm wrong, really? then, or if not, then it's. So you wouldn't be like. I can't believe you said that to me. Smack. No, I wouldn't. Okay. No, right. because then okay, if, if you don't say anything, it's kind of like, okay, I guess it's okay. And I guess it's not a big deal. So, you know. I'm not going to say but anything. I agree, but you guys seem like really nice girls. You know, yeah. that's why I feel like you would be intolerant. And I, I personally know so many girls, especially Asian girls, who are very, very, like, they don't want their boyfriends to tell them anything. All right, well... Let's 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 have the bashing part. Yeah. <laughs> it got all mushy there. <laughs> let's, let's let's hear it. What don't you like about Asian guys? I don't like how Asian guys they don't really show too much affection. Oh. Like yeah, like oh. PDA. I'm okay because I don't oh, really do yeah, PDA. Yeah. He, he's not Asian then, because this guy is literally the king of PDA. Really? Yeah. He is you good. Are a kind of brave. Dan is like. <laughs> I had to tell. I'm like, I had to tell Dan to. I'm like, yo, cut it out. You will not find Asians like that. Yeah, I it's very rare. No, yes, yeah, very rare. Well, it's kind of like how you're brought up. Like, I, my whole family has always been affectionate with me, not just my mom, not my dad, but my mom, my grandpa, my grandma. Yeah. So I feel like normal. My friends' parents, like, he found it weird that. I hug my friend's parents, right? I, I would wonder when you try to kiss your dad. Yeah, well, that's, <laughs> that's, and it didn't work. I, I even got awkward hearing that story. You do, you got real awkward. It didn't work, and I you know, knew it didn't work, but so I, I'm, that's me, but I feel like a lot of Asian guys, not just Chinese guys, but Asian guys across the board, it's like parents, do not, especially for Chinese parents, you're, you don't show affection by hugs and kisses, right? We all know that. So growing up, maybe. But I don't really agree with that. Oh, okay. I don't agree with it because I never got much affection growing right. up. But I'm pretty affectionate to the people I'm in relationship with because I feel like I want to be affectionate. Yeah, like, I feel like. Yeah. I just don't want to be affectionate to my parents. So I'm going to have to tell you the stuff. So I have a lot of affection yeah. built up right. from childhood. Right. <laughs> so you just have to let it out. Wait, can I just say, like, because I haven't yeah, seen Mike so in a relationship yeah. in a while, I feel like he will be more PDA than me. No, you, I just um, no because it's I, building I up. It's a code I agree because here's the thing. My mom, my mom grew up with parents who didn't show her any affection, and she's like super affectionate because she felt like she never had it in her life, and she wants to. She never wants other people around her to feel like she's withholding with affection from right. them. I was gonna say also the person that didn't grow up with any affection can also feel weird about it and awkward about it because they're not used to it. So they see it on kind TV. Of, <laughs> yeah, so they're just kind of like like out of their comfort zone to show affection. 
I mean, if you don't show affection to the closest people in your family, then maybe it can be more awkward to show affection. But, but I do agree with you the know? Asian guys not showing much affection because yeah. I feel like that's mm -hmm. more because they're shy. Yeah. yeah. And, and often, like when they when they are with a girl, it's it's awkward for them because usually Asian guys, it's not like they date girls like oh I did it five girls in middle school, I did it eight girls in high school. Usually, I don't think that's the case. I think it's like I did a girl in high school. I had a date in college and now I'm married. I'm not married, now I have kids. Yeah. <laughs> we talked about this before, but I'll mention again that Asian guys wouldn't really approach the, the girls. Um, like if anything, if they feel like the Asian girl looks pretty, maybe he'll stare at her, you know? <laughs> like maybe for a five minutes. Yes. And, and then look away, do they like, look yeah. away when they no, look at them? No, I actually have a story. This happened to me today at the gym, uh -huh. I'm working out, running on, on the treadmill. And there's a guy, and I could tell that that somebody was staring at me, right? Asian guy. And Asian guy, yes. And I look at him, and we both made eye contact, and we kind of played the staring game for like 30 seconds. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah, for 30, 30 seconds. seconds. Like, keep our eyes off of each other. No, I was because I thought he was cute, so I was staring at him. See, he should have came up to you. Anything. Yeah. That's I was crazy. Expecting, like if we're looking at each other for that long, maybe he's gonna come up to me and say, "Oh, right. hi, what's your yeah. name?" Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So mind you, I'm running on the treadmill, and I'm still staring at him. He's doing his cable, whatever, he's working he's out, like, you know, and, and he's still staring at me. So I was like, wow. okay, what is he going to staring at me? Yo, that's yeah. extreme, that's so, extreme. Yeah, and we were staring at each other, and guess what? He didn't come, he never came up to So the whole, the whole, like, yeah. you know what could yeah, happen? Like, okay. you know, okay. He might have had a boy, or a girlfriend. Yeah. Whatever. You, I mean, you. Oh, then that's you, a yo, That's not cool, man. You can't be. Yeah, no, you got a girlfriend. They stay with stare. Yo, you got a girlfriend. You shouldn't yeah. be staring at a girl. Yeah, at stop gym staring. Right? No, I agree that like I feel like Asian guys should come out of their shell more because a lot of times we also think you're cute, but like, yes, like we want to yes. be with you. But like, here's the thing: like, you gotta say something because if, because as a girl, I'm also afraid of getting rejected, and I don't want like I'm not sure if you're into me, so right. I, I don't know if I want to go up to you and I was just hallucinating, you know? Yeah. Like, oh, I'm sorry, you weren't interested. At all. Okay, my bad. You know. I'm Go yeah, down, yeah, yeah, you know? And yeah. thank like, God because this girl right here next to me, if I think a guy's cute, she actually goes up to him. Yeah. Oh, well, that's nice. I don't know. That's because yeah. you're. Cause you're cause I'm shy. I can't. Yeah. I, I can't do that. You guys but want tandem. We were we actually at a restaurant. Yeah. yeah we, we were at a restaurant. Really? Remember, we were staring at each other. And of course, he still didn't come up. He was Korean, and obviously, like they were like literally looking, looking at each other. Wow. I, I tend to play the staring game. And a she lot. told me like, I was like, oh, he's cute. I'm like, okay. And he's, he obviously heard it, but he just didn't say anything. Yeah, and we're about to leave. You're like, hurting him. We heard it. Yeah, he was like looking at him. Yeah, and I was like, you know, I'm gonna just do it. And she didn't want to go up to him. I'm like, okay, I'll do it. And then I talked to him, and then he was interested. Yeah, I'm like, he was why interested. Did he why did he say anything? Exactly. 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 Yes. Yes. Um, yes. <laughs> you think the list over. goes on. So here's the thing about like Asian guys and uh, I think, okay, I'm not going to say other Asian guys, but I assume this is the case and especially like, Chinese guys, when you date them, you often date their family a little bit, like when, when you're long term, you meet their family and it's kind of like a well-known thing that the guys' mother will not get along with you or like, or their parents will subject you to a little torture. I feel and, like that happens in Korean drama yeah, all the time. And it's it's true. Like, I mean, usually the in-laws, not even before you're married, like his parents are a tough thing to deal with. And that's just, a, that's an Asian thing that you can't get away from. And if you want to be a part of this guy's life, you just deal with it, you know? But it's hard. And it's not like where it's a, where you're dating a Western guy, they're not really part of your life. But with an Asian guy, they're a big part of your life. And you just, it comes with a package. So you deal with it or that not. I have a question. If your parents told you that, that they didn't like her, would you like... Would you think differently? Or no, I mean, because like, because I, I grew up very, you know, like, very liberal and progressive. So they was, unlike some, even like Mike's parents, like, they're like, you could date anybody you want, any color, any they're race. They're open. Right? They're like, just, mine are like, that was how. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm saying you're the opposite. Color any race? No, no, no. Yeah. Your, your parents are different. Yeah. My parents. Yo, your, oh, your parents. Yeah, I'm saying my parents yeah, are different yeah, yeah, from yeah, yours. Don't do they told me I literally, whoever I came home yeah. with, they're like, as long as you're artists. happy. Oh, wow. right. so like, they're really open. Yeah, so, that doesn't happen. So you should ask, like, Mike, if his mom was like, she didn't like his girlfriend. So what would yeah. your mom do? It, yeah. Oh, I dated white girls because other girls, well, not just white girls, but I mean, my parents, I initially took my white girlfriend to meet my parents, yeah. and they were not happy. They were like, my mom even gave the famous speech, she was like, you can date her, 
but you cannot marry her. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's so but like, easy. But like, that would affect you, right? Like, no, I mean, no, 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 you wouldn't care. You don't care. I don't care anything do about my parents. Right. Like, opinion about that. My parents about this kind of stuff. Because they're like old school. Yeah, I listen to them, but I'd be like, married to some like, uh, uh, Touch, like, okay to, like, <laughs> someone who looks okay, but does really good housework. That's, like, literally yeah, what that's what they want. Talking. Anything else, ladies? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you I, no, another thing. Another thing. And, and here's the thing, Never. a lot of these things don't apply to Dan, because he's very westernized, but what I'm, I'm talking about more traditional, like, Chinese or um, other Asian guys, but, like, a lot of times they won't speak their mind. Like, they'll be angry at you, but they just won't yeah, tell you. They hold it in a lot, yeah. and then it builds up, and then it just... World War Four, right there. Yeah, it's absolutely. <laughs> like, I'll be like, everything's fine. Yeah. Everything's, everything's good. Yeah, everything's good. Yeah. The next day, come over. I want a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking the kids. Where did that come from? Yeah. yeah. yeah I feel I mean, like Asian guys, they're really bad at confrontation. Yeah. And they kind of try to avoiding that, I guess. Asian girls too, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. Asian girls. Yeah. We'll get to that later, guys. Yeah. 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 We'll get to that later, man. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
we're complimenting we're her. Ready. We're ready. We're ready. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. See ya. Bye.